started on step three of the Gypsy Leopard tutorial. Um, so far we have base painted our cup and we have glittered the cup with the epoxy method. Um, and so now it's time to start painting our spots. Um, this is just raw glitter, we did not seal it. Um, you, you really don't want to epoxy before you paint your leopard spots. Um, I learned the hard way a couple times <laughs> on that. So we're just gonna be putting it over the raw glitter here. It's really helpful when you're painting leopard print to kind of reference a print um, that you, maybe you find online or you have it on a shirt and you, you like the style of that print. Um, have that in the back of your mind or print it out on a piece of paper and have it next to you while you're painting, especially if you're just starting out doing the leopard spots um, because it's really going to help you kind of place and design your spots. So I like to start at the top corner of the swirl here and I'm just going to dip a pretty generous amount of glue on my brush, okay? And what we're creating here is small almond shape kind of spots. Some will be almond, some will be a little round. Um, depending on the look that you're going for, they're all gonna kind of be different spots. And you can decide what your vibe is. I tend to do kind of football, kind of almond shape, but I like them all on this particular cup to kind of be pointing in the same direction. So the bottom of those spots are kind of all gonna be flowing into the same direction, okay? And if it's cold enough in your area, you could probably get away with painting all your spots all at once. I do this a lot, so I've gotten pretty good at just going through and doing it pretty quickly. excuse me, all the Mod Podge on there. And when I'm going through, I'm just pouncing my brush, okay? This is where a stiffer uh, angled brush is gonna be really helpful because I'm just pouncing. I'm not painting brush strokes. I'm not shaping anything. I'm using the existing shape of the brush to pounce and create these shapes, okay? So once we have that laid down, We'll go ahead and put on our brown. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. So once we have those rosettes on there, we're just gonna wanna tap all that excess glitter off with like a pair of scissors or something. We're just tapping the top. Um, if you're in a pinch, you can, I used to do this, you tap the top of the PVC pipe. Okay, and see we missed this spot there, so we're gonna go back through. Just double check and make sure that we got everything coated. All right, and so the next step is that we're going to let this dry. I like to let mine dry in front of my little heater um, it tends to speed up the process so I can jump right into doing my black outline um, shortly after this is done. So I will see you guys back here in a second and we will do the black outline once this is dried. Welcome back. So our spots have completely dried. We've sat them in front of the heater for about five to 10 minutes. And I know they're dry because they're kind of like crunchy to the touch, okay? want to make sure that these rosette spots are completely dry before we move on to the black outline. 
So I wanna show you guys how I mix the black glue for my um, black outline on the spots. So I like to save it in these little jars um, and the mixture is gonna be about two parts Mod Podge to about one part paint, okay? You could use just paint, however, mm, I, I just don't trust it. I tend to get less movement um, in the glitter and better adhesion when I do the glue. Put in here, I don't really measure it. And I'm gonna eyeball about a quarter size amount. And then we're just gonna mix it. And we are ready to go. I got my little angle brush. I've got my black glitter handy. You want to make sure that you have all these things together before you get started. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how I do the outline. This part of the process is what I really struggle with the most. And if you follow my work, you notice that um, the outline of my spots tends to change. Sometimes they're thicker, sometimes they're thinner, sometimes they're whatever, but they're always kind of changing. Um, and the reason for that is because once I start one spot and say it's kind of a little weird, I can't take off what I've already put on here. So if one if one gets a little weird, then kind of they all tend to be a little weird. And it's funny how um, the look of my spots kind of changes with my mood or like where I'm kind of at um, that week. But really what I'm doing here is I'm using the top corner of the brush and I'm kind of just, you know, laying down these small strokes, okay? You could pounce too if you have a thin enough angled brush. Mine is a little shabby, so it's not fine enough to just pounce. I have to kind of use the end and make these little strokes, okay? Now, depending on the temperature of your workspace, you could probably do about three or four of these spots at a time. Um, the black glue mixture tends to dry a little faster than the glue that we use for our rosettes because we're not using as much, okay? So when you're doing the black part of these spots, it's important to note that they're all gonna be a little different and not of, none of them are gonna be perfect. If you look at real leopard print, there's so many variations of the thickness in the black outline, um, so many variations in the shape, all of that. And so, you know, I kind of think that there's really no wrong way of doing it. Well. I've seen a wrong way of doing it, but I mean, you really just don't want it to look too perfect, in my opinion. I, I tend to like maybe a more natural looking leopard print. Okay, so I've painted about five spots, so I'm gonna go ahead with my glitter. sprinkle my glitter on. I don't want to dump it on too much. Okay, and so we've got those done. Look how sparkly that black is. Again, that is Batman from PG Olive Glitters. If you don't have it, you absolutely need it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use this brush to kind of keep my mess in check here. All right, and I'm gonna try and get you guys an angle to where you can really see what I'm doing here. So again, I'm just kind of going in with the corner of my brush, putting in these little strokes. 
strokes. Okay. I want to make sure that I've got it on there thick enough. Some spots will have an outline all the way around. Some spots will have a couple dots. Some spots will have three dots. You know, it's just kind of, again, if you look at real leopard print, there are a lot of variations in those spots, okay? Well, let's look at this one up here. It's kind of hard to get close enough to show you guys. But you know, part of this will just be Practice, you know, it's going to take practice. And there we have it. The leopard print on our Gypsy Leopard Cup. Stay tuned for the next step on what we're going to do with this. Music